The Crimson Dragon, being a top predator, has always harbored a deep hatred towards humans as many of his kind have been killed by them. In the final battle, he was also slain by humans. Determined to seek revenge in his next life, the Crimson Dragon reincarnates as a feeble human child. Will the Crimson Dragon still choose revenge? What will his new identity entail in this journey? The Crimson Dragon had never set foot in human territory, but in his memories, every place that should have been inhabited by dragons was tainted by the deaths of his kin at the hands of humans until he became the last remaining Crimson Dragon. He had intended to seek revenge against humans, to inflict upon the perpetrators the suffering endured by his brethren. As the Crimson Dragon believed that he should finally find peace after being slain by humans in a decisive battle, a gentle voice awakened him from his thoughts. He's so adorable, a young couple exclaimed as they held the baby in their arms, praising him. The Crimson Dragon couldn't believe that he was now being cradled by a human. He had the urge to attack the humans before him, but instead of unleashing a mighty dragon's breath, all that came out was a dribble of saliva. The Crimson Dragon felt incredulous. He had somehow reincarnated as a human infant, and at that moment, he was being held by his own father. After being embraced and comforted by his mother, the Red Dragon learned his new name, Ray. He realized that he had been reborn with a new life. His determination for revenge was reignited. However, the limitations of his infant body left him feeling exhausted and weary. Ray's mother, Scarlet, had a gentle nature and showered the Crimson Dragon turned Ray with abundant love and affection. On the other hand, his father, Jake, was an adventurer who often took on the responsibility of protecting nearby farms from wild creatures. As Ray grew older each day, the residents around him became uneasy due to his crimson hair, fearing it was a curse. However, Ray believed it was a sign that remnants of his powers still resided within him. Scarlet was an extremely rare magic-based adventurer, and as a result, Ray was very confident in his own abilities. He believed that as a reincarnation of a red dragon, he should possess magic. However, at the age of two, Ray underwent a magic aptitude test which revealed that he had no magical talent. Undeterred, Ray made the decision to learn swordsmanship from his father, Jake, with the goal of becoming a skilled swordsman. However, even after two years of training, Ray was still unable to defeat his father even once. His frail body prevented him from fully harnessing the power of the Crimson Dragon within him. With only a year left until the examination for the Knight Academy, Ray tirelessly practiced. His physical fitness had surpassed that of his peers, but his body control remained clumsy. Jake gifted Ray a sword and a magical puppet for practice. This magical puppet was commonly used for training newcomers at the Knight Academy. During a practice session in the back mountains, Ray met Amy, who warned him about the presence of magical creatures in the area at night. However, as they were returning to the village together, they were intercepted by Gary, Amy's brother, and his group. They insulted Ray, associating his red hair with evil and curses. Ray couldn't tolerate their disrespect towards his parents and got into a conflict with Gary. Ray exerted all his strength but was still defeated by Gary, and the victorious Gary looked down upon Ray, deeming him unworthy of being a swordsman. This plunged Ray into pain and doubt. However, after Gary returned home, he discovered a dent in his armor. Clearly, without the armor, Ray's first attack would have broken Gary's arm. In this fight, the true winner was Ray. Will the setback Ray experienced halt his path to becoming stronger? Will he be able to showcase his true power as a Crimson Dragon? Stay tuned for our next exciting commentary.